Alright, I'm going to start working on my muffler leak. Uh, bought this engine used. Uh, this is what you run into with used engines. We've got a slight muffler leak, which is going to make a mess out of the airplane. Uh, I need to get it taken care of. Uh, I did look for these gaskets, these muff muffler gaskets, and I found them online in several places, but they're seven or eight bucks. Uh, I'm just not going to pay that for them. That's too high, it's too expensive, it's not... I'm not going to pay it for them. So I found out by uh, talking to several people and reading up on it a little bit that I can get by with high heat. I could actually probably get by with regular silicone, but definitely with this. This is supposed to be, this is automotive. This is a cheap brand, Permatech, or uh, Versa, Versa Chem. Uh, Permatex is probably a dollar more, and if I when I buy it again, I'll probably buy the Permatex. But anyway, six, seven bucks, uh, and it will seal. There's no telling how many mufflers <laughs> and carburetor uh, gaskets that I'll have in the future. So really good deal. Build a mountain home at all points in between. Go ahead and loosen this up a little bit. I actually think I can take one of these out and slide it to the side. This is uh, not really the factory bolt set up. This is what the guy that I got it from come up with. Now I'm going to have to go ahead and take them both out. Uh, He's actually warped this muffler in a little bit. This muffler actually appears to be made out of aluminum. It's a little softer. Okay, here we go. It's hanging up. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to clean this up a little, uh, I'm going to clean, there's a little metal piece that they had between them, I, I'm going to go ahead and reuse that, I, I think that's good, uh, I'm going to clean everything up real good, with, uh, I'm well, basically denatured alcohol, but it's what I've got in. I've got it in my, I've got it mixed into my Windex. Uh, that way it's always handy to use as a spray. Uh, a friend of mine keeps different spray bottles around, and he actually has one that's just straight denatured alcohol, which is a really good idea. Uh, and I need to get some of these different spray bottles. You can get some, uh, I believe they're, they use them for, uh, well, like hairstylists and stuff. You can get some of those little spray bottles and have different things in it, like uh, denatured alcohol and stuff, and that'd be really handy to have in your shop. And uh, I'm going to get a few of those. That's a good idea. But anyway, for right now, I'm just going to clean everything up real good. I'm going to try to clean up my oil mess that I made from this leaking. Make sure it didn't pull my covering loose or anything. Uh, the cleaner you can keep everything on the airplane, honestly, more than likely, you'll do a better job keeping up with it. Uh, the ones I've seen at the field that they don't ever clean or anything, uh, they don't seem to work very good because the ones like me that go ahead and clean all their stuff up find their problems before their problem. And that's pretty important. And uh, keeping up with your your airplanes and going back over them, constantly going back over them and back over them and trying to do what they need uh, is what keeps your airplanes in good shape. And I really have 
very, very few problems with my airplanes at the field. All right, tonight we got Miles. And I know people that have. So, uh, young Miles Lowry will be I know some guys, uh, now very few, most of our guys are really good. Uh, Terry that taught me, he's, he's incredible, he taught me most of the stuff I know, and uh, he's really good at keeping up on his, and the, most of the guys are. But there's a few that aren't, and it's what they uh, you'll find is they will come down to the field uh, with their airplane and everything ready to go, and none of their stuff will work. Uh, the minute they get their plane in the air, uh, something will come off of it, or it'll tear up, or the engine won't start, or and the bottom line is they never get to fly. And it's so easy to see why they don't. The reason they don't is because they do no maintenance. They don't do hardly any cleanup. They don't do hardly any maintenance. And uh, their stuff's not going to work very good. So my stuff, uh, I try to keep up on with real well. I try to keep uh, the details worked out. I try to keep it clean. I try to keep it nice. Uh, I try to go back over them and fix the damages. Uh, I watch my own fly videos uh, and listen for what people say. Uh, like my buddy when he's flying this plane, oh well, you need to adjust a little more rudder into this plane, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I get, yeah, I need to put a little more rudder in that one. Now, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, when I loaded it up at the field, I looked at it, and I seen this oil mess. Oh no, my muffler's leaking. So I'm going to fix that. These little details uh, make all the difference in the world. Uh, constantly work on your airplanes to keep up with them. Dental creations on the now, with that said, I got everything cleaned up. I'm going to take and put a real light layer of this silicone on the face of the exhaust port. Very small amount. Very, very happy with the work that they've done. For all extractions, did your partial... You can't smear this on with your finger. Probably works better. Anyway, all them out. When you want it done, have it done right. Call I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this piece up here. They'll be there. DNA towing, 870-741-1169. Well, it's the cloud this afternoon with a little bit of rain. The high 47. And for tonight, an evening shower in spots on by is partly cloudy. The low 31, a bit milder tomorrow. Uh, this is a little thin piece of metal. Sunday, sleet and freezing rain that can cause some ice accumulation and okay. slippery travel. I'm going to go ahead and try to set my bolts in where they go. Sunday, 31. Somebody made this piece and they did a real good job. Uh, I'm going to reuse it. Let's take a quick look uh, at that 1029, the Z color. I considered getting a new muffler. Across the Ozarks, pretty much, and stuff, uh, but just certain areas might be a little heavier than others. Really, honestly, high. you just can't get down. everything uh, new. 42 here if you get season. everything new, you spent, you spent a lot of money. So, I really honestly try to get by with uh, used stuff. I try to get by with my this muffler's been up and it's not in real good shape. I, I try to get by with it because I just can't always buy everything new. Uh, otherwise, you spend all your money on these little details and don't have anything left. Okay, that should actually be enough. A very small amount. Uh, now I do see where my port is leaking here. I'm gonna put a little bit on there. Put on there. I really want to seal this up. It's very small amount, so uh, this is a really small leak. It takes a very small amount of silicone. I'm gonna go ahead and try to stick my muffler up on there. Alright, put my washers and my nuts back on this. 
trying not to move it around too much, smear my silicone, because that's what I'm expecting to seal it. Okay, I don't go ahead and tighten it up, just tighten it up a little bit. Because I want to go ahead and make sure it's in the right position. The way these bolts are made, I want to make sure that they lay right before I cinch them up. And not only that, you really can't cinch them all the way up because these little aluminum ears in this head are uh, pretty vulnerable to breaking off. Okay, I've got a pretty good job. It looks like my sealer's in the right place. It looks like my bolt heads are in the right place. I'm going to go ahead and cinch it up a little. Not a lot, because like I said, you can break these little ears off and then you're really in trouble. There we go. It's actually jamming up a little bit. For some reason. There we go. Alright. That should take care of my exhaust leak. Okay, next thing, and my prop looks like it's starting to get beat up a little bit. The reason that is, is because it's actually hitting the ground quite a bit. Uh, this is kind of an old beater prop, and I can get by with that a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and clean some of the dirt off of it and see how bad it is. It's actually not very bad. But again, it doesn't take but just a second to go ahead and clean something up a little. See kind of condition it's in. And not only that, looks better. Now I would like to see that that amount of dirt and grass because this is uh, uh, actually hitting the ground and the ground the grass because the wheels aren't large enough. Uh, it actually builds up on there and it will throw your balance off. Doesn't take much at all to throw your balance off. So it just takes a second to clean it. Look it over, see if it's a problem or not. Uh, this one really looks fine. I was actually saying it was fairly beat up, but it's really not. It's just was the buildup of grass and dirt on the on that leading edge. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Now I would like to work a spinner on on this. I, I like spinners on my airplanes. Uh, it doesn't really have, let me see, it doesn't look like it has a threaded end. But let me look at it a little closer and see. If it's got a threaded in there. I might be able to use one of my aluminum spinners. Actually, I believe it does. Let me get my other set of glasses. It actually is threaded. Okay, so let me see what I've got here. I'm going to look through my spinners and see if I have something that might work.
I may have one here that might work. Let's see here. Now granted, if I put this on here, I may have to grind out this spinner to make it fit the prop. Okay. I would have to grind quite a bit on that one. And of course I'd have to probably drill my hole out. And then I'd have to have a bolt that will go with thread in right here. I'll try to get an idea what size that piece would need to be. Yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and try a plastic on right now. They're a lot easier to work with. I don't have that much room on the nut on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to find a plastic spinner that would April 6th, you'll be getting your country on it. Okay, I'm going to have to get a lot more throw here uh, on my rudder. Uh, when I put this plane together, this is one of the first planes uh, that I built. A buddy of mine helped me. And a lot of the finish up on it, I didn't know all of it then. And uh, we didn't even set up the high rates on this plane at first. So when I set up the high rates uh, at the field, uh, we just guessed it. And, you know, I'm at, on low rates, I'm at uh, inch and a half, and on high rates, I'm at almost two inches. Uh, I just looked at the manual, the high rates are supposed to have around three inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back completely over this airplane, and I'm gonna check each of my rates, but is what I've got here is my arm and the servo. It's a little too short. Uh, is what you do is you lengthen your arm at your servo, and then you actually move your control in on your horn on your control service to get more uh, throw. And that's what I'm going to have to do because I'm going to be trying to get around three inches on the rudder, and that's why this plane needs. Uh, more rudder, but I've also got, uh, I need to check the throttle and see how accurate it is, but I'm going to start off by finding a different control horn for my Potama servo on this one, and uh, I'll probably have to work on making my linkage a little bit different to make it uh, get far more throw. So uh, I'll try to come up with something to work with, and I will be back. Okay, well, I'm just going to start off by pulling my servo horn. Hi, this is Jerry from New Beginnings School of Cosmetology. Our $2,500 tuition is coming to an end. Beginning the 1st of March, it will be back to our full price. So call 743-1114 to claim one of our few spots we have remaining. Now I've actually got something on this plane that I can work on too. I got a little bit of a gap right there. Uh, like I said, when you go back over your airplanes, you're going to find, first of all, you're going to have several things that you knew that you had, and then you're going to find several things that you didn't know that you had. You actually got a little movement there in the tail. It's not bad, but you might do something a bit too. Now when you're doing stuff like this, you can really easily do some damage if you put a lot of pressure on something. So take your time pulling things loose. Try to do a good job. Uh, don't force stuff. It's like this little end here. It's really being tough to come out of there. And instead of forcing it and trying to yank it out of there, I'm just going to slowly work it and try to get it real loose here. There it is. Okay. Now, I'm going to need to have a much longer arm here. I could gain a little bit there. So, 
Meanwhile, let me look at my uh, the Taba Control Orange. Uh, these, I believe, are a 25 tooth uh, Fataba. Let's see what I've got here. That's exactly like the one that I have. That one's a little longer than that. Here we go. I believe this is one of them. Yes. That appears to be one of the control horns that I need right there. Let's see. That does appear to be the right one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see which way it snaps on there that will be close to 90 degrees. There. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and snip off my other side. Uh, with my snippers. Okay. Uh, and I round them off a little bit. Makes them look nicer. It also makes it less likely to catch your hand or your clothing on it when you're carrying a plane. George Strait, give it all we got tonight. It's next on the Z. Okay, I've got a pretty decent shape there. Now, I want a lot more throw here. So, right there, I was about that far out. I'm going to go all the way out here to the end. Now I've got to get my little screw lock piece off of here, which is easier said than done. Uh, see if I can get that set out of the way where you can see what I'm working on here. Uh, these little clips really hold tight. And, uh, I don't want to damage it because I'd like to reuse this one because I don't have any of these larger ones left, I don't believe. So, I'm going to take a knife and wedge in and try to just pry it up a little bit at a time. As like I said, these things really hold well. I don't want to damage it, but I do want to get it off there so I can reuse it. likely have to readjust this linkage and everything uh, before I get through. But for now, I just left it right there on my control rod. Uh, I'm going to put it all on there and then I'll start adjusting it to get 90 degree at my servo. Uh, then I'll go back and set my rates. Now, granted, I'm going to go Pretty well with the book. Uh, I'm actually, it says inch and a half on low. I'm probably going to go a little bit more than that on low. And then I'm definitely going to go up to the three inches on the high. And uh, this is the kind of stuff you find when you go back over your airplanes. Uh, this is one of the first airplanes I built. Uh, I haven't been doing this uh, for about, about three years. This plane uh, was one of the first ones, I believe. Pretty close. And uh, what happened is I got real close to done on it, uh, and then I just grabbed it and I took it to the field. And I wasn't all the way complete. I wasn't all the way done with it. And uh, then I set my brakes up. Uh, I just guessed them. Uh, at the field, I wanted to fly it. Uh, I gave it to one of my buddies. He said, oh gosh, you haven't set your rates up. And uh, we just went right ahead and tried to, tried to guess it. And that's what you get. 
Okay, there's my bit on my size. I'm going to go ahead and go out to my last hole in the servo arm. Like I said, these are 25 tooth uh, Fatabas. There it is. Okay. I'm going to take this and I'm going to. These are really hard to get on there. I'm going to take a, one of my little sockets. Okay. And I'm going to tap it. Find a socket the right size here. I believe that one will do it. Okay. I'm going to stand it up on my table and get it fairly square. I'm going to tap it down there. Now that works great. And I want to make sure it's all the way down on there. I want to make sure it's down on there even. And it's really locked in. It, it appears to be. It, it did real well. I like these holes or screw locks. I really do. Uh, I use those on a lot of planes, and I also use the smaller ones, but uh, use the larger ones. Okay, now, that's going to go. That's actually a little bit different size. I, I'm going to take my 16 a little bit, and I'm going to see that one out of here. That uh, horn fit in there a little tight now. A little tight is just fine. Uh, you want them a little tight. But uh, not very much. And also, this horn was trying down. I normally like them turned up. I we have to adjust it anyway. So let's just see what I end up with here. I'm going to go in the third hole back. And then we'll go here. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and snap this one into place. And then I will immediately go and check my elevator and see how close my rates are on the end. And so on. From midnight to 6 a.m., Justin Moore going to be talking with Cody Allen. There we go. That's more like it. How you can get registered for that big ACM giveaway, and here it is. Yes, sir. That'll do it. Now, I need to go ahead and see what my trim is uh, to get my rudder straight. See, there's something that's very easy to do. And I stand the model a little bit. I actually slid off the table and I grabbed the hold of the tail. And I can hear some stuff popping. Lodging at the Monte Carlo. And I can Hotel see where it broke. And right there. And two tickets to the ACM Awards. Oh, well. This big trip also brought to you by... We'll Lake have Lake to repair Con that. Which... Mainville I was a little bit... Liquidation outlet. Fuse... This anyway. So... Here we go. I'm going to see Keep listening for your chance to get registered what I've got. I'm going to see what my... Trim is. 
Loading Town and Sober is next on the Z. Hi, welcome to your Western Sizzlin' in Harrison. This is Holly inviting you to join us for lunch Monday through Friday and select from seven different menu items for only $7. Just $7 and you can enjoy delicious food like tender sirloin steak or chicken fried steak. Okay, I'm going to join my sub trim. I see what it needs. Choices for lunch for just $7. Monday through Friday, 11 till 2, only I'm going to go into my sub trim. Famous for our flame kissed USDA And I'm going to go to my hey, rudder. And let's see here. The highest rated hospital in the region for hip fracture treatment serves your community. I'm going to go ahead and, and get it trimmed out. Center. We didn't seek out recognition from a national health care ratings firm. We earned it. Our focus is simply to deliver quality patient care, a commitment, a passion, shared by everyone in our organization. Our patients and their families can rest assured knowing the quality care they receive at North Arkansas Regional Medical Center is among the very best in the nation. Five star rated by health grades, North Arkansas Regional Medical Center, the best in care, We're right here at home. 99 cent drinks till 11 a.m. Now it's Sonic. Start your day off the right way by making Sonic your morning drink. That be it. Okay. Large drink now I'm going to go ahead and try to get my... Until 11 a.m. every day. Order a strawberry slush, a sweet tea, or even the up and atom taste of Sonic's cherry limeade. If you like to start your day with an ice cold drink, drive into Sonic and order your favorite for just 99 cents until 11 a.m. at participating Sonic drive-ins. Additional fruit or flavors. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get it set up to set my low Can rates, we get which are uh, inch and a half. What? I don't care. Just get the cheapest ones. Come on now. This is important. This from the same dummy. Man, I'm sure it'll be way past that now. I car insurance last week. Yeah. And I saved a lot of money. Oh, yeah. How do you know? Well, he said it. Who said it? I don't know. Well, the lizard. Oh, great. Okay. You got car insurance from the lizard? Well, I guess. Well, then just close your eyes and pick a can. Let me go ahead and go to my dual rates. You should have gone to Acres and Arnie. Really? Yeah. Am I the only one here? Well, let me set it way down. Well, Acres and Arnie will give you the best policy at the best price and you'll get to talk to an actual person who lives right here in Branson. Hi Tim, hi Seville, great show. Thank you. <laughs> who is that? Well that's Pam, she's one of the agents at Acres and Army. Hey, can I talk to you about switching our car insurance? For all your insurance solutions, call Acres and Army. Acres and Army. They're all okay, there's there still way past we're bragging about our loans we're loud and proud table rock community bank is the most helpful most hassle-free just plain friendliest place to get a loan we've got loans for the everyday person every day at table rock community bank it's about getting you the right loan for the right reasons and right away so you can get on with your busy life hi i'm larry hurst president of table rock community bank in kimberling city let us make your dreams a reality call stop by or log on to trcbank.com today member fdic equal housing lender Millions are watching the new Star Pack Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Oh my goodness, that's what I'm talking about. And this week, the stars keep coming with Denzel Washington, Adam Sandler, Drew Bentley, Drew Barrymore, Cameron Diaz, Paul Rudd, Shaquille O'Neal, Sean White, Iron Mike Tyson. And tonight, Jimmy's got Reese Witherspoon, Fred Armisen, and Rick Ross. We have a great show tonight. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, followed by the premiere of Late Night with Seth Myers, tonight on NBC. Not every great sports moment happens during primetime. At Buffalo Wild Wings, we reward those diehard fans who stay up to catch it all by keeping our kitchen open late. Everything from wings to burgers and nachos. Whether it's an East Coast crowd catching the end of a West Coast game or a life-changing triple overtime thriller, we're there with you until the end with hand-spun wings and one of our 16 signature sauces and five seasonings and 20-plus beers on tap. Great things happen at night, especially here. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. While replacing your engine or transmission is a smart investment, you should get all the facts by contacting Larry or Tim at a Kimberling City Tire Company. Let them help you make the right choice to get the best value. It's going to be a little bit more than two inches, engine or transmission. no matter what I do. 100,000 mile parts and labor nationwide warranty and an available premium service plan. You'll find out why Kimberling City Tire has all their confidence in Jasper engines and transmissions. Call Kimberling City Tire Company at Kimberling City, 417-739-2485. Ask about their... So that means I can actually go out into this last hole really awesome. on this one. That'll change it some. Uh, let me try that. We could actually go in on that one a ways. Let me go ahead and pull this out. Look at 
like I said, we do the damage things when you're doing stuff like this. Go ahead and put it in that outer hole. See what that does for me. really tough to get it to slide into place. I'm pushing it through a, a horn that's pretty tight. There it goes. Now, let's see what that does. Uh, that should shorten my throw. I can shorten it a little bit. Oh, that helped a lot. Yes, it looks like it did. Now, let me check my center air again. Make sure it's pretty close. Actually, it looks like it is. We set my throw meter up here. And this throw meter doesn't really work that good for bigger models. Uh, it just doesn't have the markings for anything further than about two inches, which isn't very much. basically an inch and seven eighths both ways. It's pretty close to what I'm wanting to do. Sixteenths. Uh, the book calls for an inch and a half. Uh, normally, leave the, the rudder on high rates on my airplanes anyway for a lot of control. So that should be okay. Uh, let me go. Did a rudder in the process. Probably hit it with my finger. That's why my adjustment wasn't changing. Go back to 100% on those. I really don't have any idea where I stand. Let me go back to rudder. There it is. Okay, see what I've got here. 
Actually, I'm going to go back to an inch and five eighths on this on the low end. Sunday, John Fierk of the Ozarks Best Country, 1029, the Z. It says inch and a half. I'm going to go to inch and five eighths. Uh, 
Uh, could be a dicey weekend. We will Should have a full coverage if the weather does get bad, so make sure all weekend long you just keep the dial tuned right here to the Ozarks Best Country, 1029 The Z. Your 1029 Z radar brought to you by the Midday Cafe. Don't miss the Midday Cafe, 12 noon to 1 p.m. every weekday. Serving up hot, fresh, and... Okay, there's engine 5.8 on my rudder. Right here on the Ozarks Best Country, 1029 Z. And I'm going to back my expo down a little bit. Severe weather coverage, 1029 The Z. Five eights on my low end. Now let me go to my high rates. Uh, now my high rates need to be about three inches. So, let's see what we got here. It's kind of hard to do. Yeah, but I've definitely got three inches now. Let me see how close I am. I actually got a little more than three inches. Okay, so let me back them off to 100. I'm getting pretty close to three inches now. Okay, I could go a little more. Now let's see what this side looks like. It's showing that my battery in my airplane is getting low. Uh, this one will tell you. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, oh, it's showing that my timer was, had run out, actually, is what it was showing. Which is fine. I'll shut it off and turn it back on here in a minute. Uh, that's my rudder. Now let me check my elevator. I'm gonna go look and see. 